This is the Tok Tok Cube. Tok Tok because of the cute sounds it makes and because it actually talks to you. Some of you may think that it's simply an upgrade from the previous smart cube made by Xmas, but the Korean company insists that it's an entirely new product altogether. And you know what? I think I might agree. Oh, and if you're wondering where my kids are, since they were the ones who helped me review previous Xmas cubes, don't worry, they're coming up. And in fact, Ola and I are going to face off in an online comp using this cube to see who's better. Fingers crossed, it's gonna be me. For starters, the turning on the Tok Tok cube is really snappy. It almost feels magnetic. And of course, because the layers don't actually intersect, check out the corner cutting. <laughs> the result is a cube that turns really quickly. The Tok Tok cube can apparently handle a turning speed of over 20, while the previous X Mars cube maxed out at about seven. And I mean, you can see from solves, it doesn't really slow you down anymore. Within a few days, I was getting about like 80% of my regular TPS. Oh, and because everyone always asks, yes, you can do M slices on this pretty easily, as you can see. The next change, colors. Gone is the purple. We now have the regular Rubik's colors, the correct color scheme, and they even threw in a white version. Wow. It is the most gorgeous thing ever, and it's pretty hard to decide which one I like better. They're both honestly really pretty. The next big difference, this thing no longer has motors in it. You may remember that the previous x Mars cube could move itself. It was one of the coolest things about it, even though it was a little bit gimmicky. But personally, removing motors could have been one of the most genius things they did for a few reasons. Firstly, this cube now turns a lot quieter. You don't feel like you're turning against anything when you move the layers. And I suspect it's what brought the cost down a lot because the Tok Tok cube now retails at $75, while the old one was about 100 bucks. In fact, when this cube launches on Indiegogo, it's going to have a starting price of $36, which if you know anything about smart cubes, that's really quite cheap. Like that's cheaper than some regular non-smart Rubik's cubes. Sorry, no offense to them. I just mean, you know, they're not smart. And the fifth big difference is that of course, it now talks. Because this cube can do so many things, it's hard to express just how convenient it is to now have the menu options just spoken out to you. It's a really small thing that goes a very long way. But are these actually any fun to solve or to play with? Well, how's this for an answer? As soon as I took these pre-production models out of the box, it was literally two hours before I put them down again. I'm not kidding. And that's before I found out all the extra stuff that these things could do. And it was the same story with my daughter. She has not cubed this much in ages. But don't take my word for it. Later in the video, I'll ask her what she thinks of the Tok Tok Cube and whether it's worth the price. Okay, we've got to discuss the elephant in the room. This is not a Rubik's Cube. Oh, sorry. This is Sticky Ricky. It was the only one I could find nearby. The Tok Tok Cube does not have connecting layers. It feels quite different in your hands when you're turning it. And obviously, you can't use this in an official WCA comp. But if you're getting a Bluetooth Smart Cube, you already knew that. But you see, unlike all the others, Exmar's unique selling point is that the Tok Tok Cube can be used without an app. In fact, you can even use it without a timer because it tells you the time on its faces. This thing can be a three x three, it can be a two x two, it can be a bunch of different puzzles, something to wow your friends. It is by far the most versatile smart cube I have ever played with. I guess what I'm saying is, if you want an ordinary Rubik's Cube, get an ordinary Rubik's Cube. But if you want something entirely different, but that you can still speed solve and get really fast at, the Tok Tok Cube is looking really good. Okay, let's look at what the app offers. Connecting your phone to the cube is super easy. Tap on the Bluetooth button, press the cube, that's yours. And there it is. In fact, if you've got two cubes, swapping over literally takes like one second. There you go. This one should be connected now. First up, we've got competitions, which I will show you more about in just a second. Next, 1v1 battle, where you can match with a human or match with an AI. The AI, it's pretty funny. That's all I can say. They love talking a big game. And then if you beat them, they say stuff to egg you on. Let's have a little go. You've been practicing a lot, haven't you? Oh, I should say that it displays the time on the cube. So I believe that yellow and white give you like the minutes. So this was less than a minute, so that's fine. And then red is the first one. So this was 27 seconds, 0.90. I mean, that's pretty cool. Oh, let's try matching with AI playing two by two mode. It won't be easy to beat me, will it? Well, 
I don't know, let's see. So, okay, here we go. <laughs> Level four, take your revenge. So good. 5.78 seconds. I'd honestly be happy with a five second solve with a, a normal two by two. Next, under statistics, the usual stuff that you expect. A log of all your solve times. You can see that the average of my last 10 solves was 30 seconds. And then we've got two way mode. This is a really cute one. Two way, because when I make changes to the Tok Tok Cube, you see it on the screen. But if I make changes on the screen, it affects the actual cube. Hey, there we go. Look what it did. And at the top, you can use it to change the mode. For example, if I wanted to go to mini random game in which it gives me, I believe, 10 scrambles that are all like just two moves to solve. And it just sees like how fast you take to solve a two move scramble. It sounds random and it is, it's called a random game, but it's surprisingly fun. Oh gosh, what's this one? This and this. <laughs> that was actually a little bit hard. And there's plenty more where they came from, like Diamond Puzzle and X Puzzle, a bunch of which I checked out with my daughter. Okay, let's race on X Puzzle mode, okay? Wait, how do you do it again? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, 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 I got it. Ready, go. What am I doing? What? Why isn't this right? Oh! Ah. What about diamond puzzle? Whoa. Let's give it a go. Oh, mistakes were made. Wait, wait, wait. What? Oh yeah. Beat my 23. Let's do half my run. Ready? Go. Ah! Whoa! Pat, you can still see it on your thing screen. Oh yeah, you can. I should just cheat and use my screen. This is so confusing. I love it. Yeah, 25. All right, what about that competition mode I was telling you about earlier? Xmar says that it'll be running regular competitions in which anyone who joins will get the exact same scramble at the exact same time, which you'll solve and then receive a global ranking later. Of course, Ola and I had to try this out, so here's how we went. Time for the moment of truth. The competition. So the sweetest prize today really will be if I can beat you. <laughs> One minute left of the countdown. Okay, here we go. Count three, two, two. Don't turn it. Uh, you beat me by one second! Ah! And the result is, I'm eighth place this time! Uncle Ting that approves! Eight, very lucky! Well, I'm seven. And look at your TPS, 3.47. You should do his number. It's the lucky number. <laughs> what do you think of the Top Top Cube? I really like it. I like all the little music bits. Mm -hmm. The music isn't like crazy. It doesn't get very annoying. And even Ting Boy was having quite a lot of fun with it too, hey. It's a very good cube. It's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. Mm, it's a lot lighter than like other puzzles that X Mars has made. For 2x2, two two, I was basically averaging the same times that I would average on a normal 2x2. Two two. Not for 3x3 three three, though. 3x3, three three, well, it wasn't that much slower. Also, you can play songs in it. Oh, yeah, you can. Impressive. So the question is, do you think people should buy this? Yeah. Whoa. In a way, you're not just buying this for the cube, but for what it offers. You're buying entry into the Tok Tok ecosystem, one with tutorials, games, a lot of replayability and competitions. So, $36. Will you be getting it when it comes out? For me, considering what it offers and the fact that it's actually cheaper than a bunch of other regular Rubik's Cubes, I feel like the answer talks for itself. Thank you, XMAS, for the pre-production cube. Everything you need to learn more about the Tok Tok and even order it will be in the video description. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to get one and what do you think about its name? See you in the next video.